Hey welders, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Adventures in Welding. With me tonight is the world-renowned Welder X. Good evening, Welder X. Good evening, Paul. What do we got here? Well, here we have a quarter-inch steel plate. Uh-huh. Well, what are we going to do with it? We're going to cut it. We're going to cut it and weld it into a project? Yes. All right, how are we going to cut it? With scissors? Yes. You know, Welder X, I think I have a better idea. What is that? Have you ever heard of plasma? Yes. You have? Mm -hmm. What is it? The force they matter. You're absolutely right. What if we cut this up using a plasma cutter? That's a smart idea. Let's do it. Okay. So, Welder X, can you tell us how the plasma cutter works? Okay, so first we take the positive um, clamp and we clamp it to the work, like so. And then we have a negatively powered torch and we hold it just above the metal and off to the side. We pull the trigger and pull down the torch, letting the plasma do the work. And make sure when you're using the plasma cutter, wear your protective gear. Titanium. You push it. Three quarter inch thick piece of sixty sixty one aluminum. That's going to prove to be a bit too much. Let's try some thinner aluminum. Quarter inch wall, aluminum tubing. This is the cut I made using a straight edge. 
at the beginning of the video. You can see that's as smooth as a saw cut. This is the cut. Which one is it? This was the cut that I made on the 3 8 inch steel. A little ragged. That's the titanium. The 16th inch steel. Well, that's about it for our introduction to plasma cutting. But uh, before I go, I want to tell you about the consumables that plasma cutters use, from the nozzles to the electrodes to the swirl rings, and even a couple of accessories, such as this clip-on spacer guide that clips to the nozzle and allows you to keep a consistent arc length. Another popular accessory is a roller guide also called a chariot style guide now this rotates up and the nozzle ring fits in there and allows you to roll on the metal now we'll be making a circle cutter guide with this in a future episode but you have different parts and different consumables for different jobs here are electrodes and tips for 35 to 40 amps, 15 to 25, forty amp, twenty-five to forty, and I've also got some drag tips here. Let's get a close up on some of those tips. Alright, we start here with our 15 to 25 amp tips. See the small hole upper construction. Now here we have the 25 to 30 amp. And you can see the difference in how they're built. Here's one of the electrodes for the 25 to 30. Then we have 35 to 40 amp tips. Again, you can see in comparison how they differ. Also, the electrodes are a little different. Different sizes for different needs. Now, this is a drag tip for a 40, 40 amp drag tip. amp tips. With the drag tip, you see the crosshatch pattern. What that allows you to do is to actually drag that tip on the metal. And those small crosshatches allow the gases to escape. You can't do that with the other type of tips. You can only do it with the drag tips. And so you can see the difference there in the types. Now you see all these tips and electrodes here are all packaged in these little plastic bags. These are from George's Plasma Cutter Shop in Delaware. And you can find him online on eBay. Uh, Mechanic 416, check him out for your plasma cutter consumables. He's got some really good deals going on. And not only does he have plasma cutter consumables, he's got TIG welding consumables. Here is a 332nd stubby gas lens. A couple of nice wedge collets in there. That's for a 17 size torch. And we got a whole set of stubby gas lenses for a number 9 size torch. Remember, Mechanic 416 on eBay, George's Plasma Cutter Shop. Check him out for your, uh, your consumable needs for your plasma and TIG cutters.